What do you think was your happiest memory? I always loved elementary school. Specifically after school, my mom and I would walk across the street from my school to go to the cafe nearby. I would do my homework or she would read to my brothers and I, it was just a nice way to wind down after school. The last night before me and the boys, my childhood friend group, parted ways. It was the night before most of us left our home country to go to school in different continents. For kids that were together almost every day for 11 years straight it was a real shitty reality to accept. We all went our separate ways within the next few days and we still try our best to keep in touch but it's heartbreaking. But we spent that entire night reminiscing and laughing so hard. I swear I haven't laughed or been as happy since that night. Being outside with my grandma while she hung clothes on the clothesline. Man why can't I think of one? Meeting my biological parents they showed me what a mother's hug really feels like and how stupid a dad joke really is. These are things my adoptive parents never did glad to say I don't miss them because I now live with my real mom and dad. Jumping into my grandfather's arms and he threw me into the air. He died when I was young, so this is my only memory of him, but it makes me so happy I have it. The very first time I saw Blink-182 live. Almost pissed myself when I saw Tom up close. Still sad at how they ended up. The day I met every one of my baby siblings. I'm the oldest male of 11. Life was a bitch. I was the only abused child but we all had it rough. The only thing that ever kept me going was my siblings. Each and every one of them changed my life the first day they were born and I held them. When I held my niece for the first time, the world finally seemed to make sense. I know that sounds a bit dramatic, but these past couple years have been really, indescribably difficult. She kept me going though despite having just been born and being about 1,000 miles away. My wife and I spent a week in Disney World together without our kids. Some special memories came out of that. I have a memory of chasing my little sister around the house, she was like two and we were laughing so hard. Pure joy. I do like to think that the happiest is yet to come, and that is merely the happiest so far. I think my happiest memory was when I was in sixth grade. My mom was very sick from cancer, but she put up a good fight for two years. She told me one night when I was having a fit, that we could go to Disney World in Florida. And while she was doing that, she was also calming me down by patting my back and rubbing my head. That was probably the happiest memory of her, because shortly after that her cancer went really downhill, and she ended up passing away about seven months later. I miss her every day, and I know she can see the man that I've become today. Miss you mom. Banned trips to football games and on trips for contests. It was so much fun. I might have to think about it more, but the one that comes immediately to mind is the day, at age 12, I went for an adventurous bike ride as far as my legs could take me, farther than ever before. I wish it was more wholesome, but if I'm going to be honest it was probably the time we did an unknown psychedelic and went on an epic quest for hot dogs at 1am. I think we walked around the city for miles, but what mattered was that I returned home with both coat pockets shoved full of hot dogs. They tasted so amazing that I took a photo, printed it out, and hung it on my wall for a while. I don't know if it's my all-time happiest, but it was the first that came to mind. My dad, who sadly passed away a few year back, took me to see Fleetwood Mac in D.C. It was obstructed view of the stage but I could actually see backstage, and watching Christine McVie and Stevie Nicks running around was so cool. So yeah, eating a Mr. Good bar with my dad seeing Lindsay Buckingham rock out is something I'll cherish forever. When I studied abroad in South Korea, my new friends and I went on a weekend trip to Busan. We drank a lot, ate delicious food, danced and sang, got lost walking to temples, even jumped off a waterfall. But best of all, we laughed a lot together pleading face heart. When I saw my parents after I walked at my high school graduation, my parents told me they're proud of me. I've never really been told that, so it meant the world to me. The moment I realized that I wanted to marry my girlfriend, now wife. We always knew we'd get married. But one night, while everything was going wrong around us, I was just happy to be there, in that moment, with her. Like, who cares what's going on? I have her. I don't need need anything else. And I know she can rely on me too. It just made sense and I knew I wanted that feeling forever. It has to be way back in like third grade when I was at the top of my class and I was honored in front of the whole school and the parents. I remember feeling so happy looking at the pride on my parents' faces. 
Sadly it all pretty much went downhill from there. Fuck I can't believe it's been 15 years since third grade. Holding my child the first time. I was so scared but so hopeful. My dad teaching me how to maintain and fix my car. I miss doing stuff like that with him so much. Sadly he now has Alzheimer's and only recognizes me on good days. My wedding day. Everybody I love was just having fun and dancing and partying. I remember being very young and my grandfather teaching me to play go fish and old maid card games on the back porch. He was a really kind soul. I also remember catching waves with my dad and naming them all sorts of crazy things on the Jersey Shore. Luffy 12 Hawk, what about you? You asked a great question and reading the answers has brought me happiness. What is your happiest memory? It's silly but once when my fiancé, now husband, and I were out with some friends and he left the room for a minute. When I saw him walking back across the room I was just so filled with love. He was staring right back at me and we just smiled as he got closer. That's all but every now and then I think of it when I see him doing some mundane task at home and I get that same feeling. Believe me. March. 2020. School and work was off my chest and I felt like a kid again. I rested and got bored of it. I liked it. Having a cold as a young boy, sitting in front of my first computer, playing SimCity 4. I loved my grandpa. He died from a heart attack when I was in high school. I still remember him at his farm, spinning me in a circle in his arms, under a huge tree. I must have been four to five. It's my earliest memory. Seeing my partner wake up from 56 days in the ICU. There is no greater joy for me than that. This is going to sound strange, but if you knew my grandmother you would understand. The first time I saw her, after Elle had lost 90 pounds she told me, well you don't look like a cow anymore, it's one of my most treasured memories. My parents loved me, I loved them. Soon I will also love my children. First gun. When I got to talk to my crush. My sister and I met the author of my favorite book The Darkest Minds. She was super nice and complimented me and my sister, she signed our book and talked to us more as if we were friends. It's one of my happiest memories. Going to a rave in Paris in 2000. I remember a day, just after the end of the June exam. I was lying in the grass and it was beautiful outside, not so hot and some wind but I remember the peacefulness of the moment. Not having anything to worry about. No shawl, no work and everybody was fine and healthy. I lived other day like that but it was the first on where I really realized that I was happy. I try to find this kind of peace but it's not easy. The happiest day was when I went on my first date with the love of my life. It is a tie. The moment I saw my wife appear in the doorway at the end of our wedding aisle, and the first time I heard our son cry out loud after a long scary silence. I reconnected with my childhood friend after he finished college. He moved back to my area and we met up for the first time in nearly a decade at a local bar. We'd been chatting online for a while before then, so serious chemistry had been brewing. I was afraid an in-person meeting would be awkward after such a long time, but it was like he never left. That night at the tavern was magical. One time, my very reserved, not really shy, just keeps to himself and knows what he likes, came outside while I was smoking a cigarette under our apartment's overhang while it was raining and started to dance with me. He's not into dancing, and not one for public affection at all and he spun me around and around and danced with me in the rain and I couldn't stop laughing and smiling. I wanna cry just thinking about it. My mother's chocolate oatmeal cookies. It's hard to pick, but I was at a little county park with my six-yo son and four-yo daughter. They walked up a hill holding hands into a backdrop of blue sky and prairie. The temp was perfect, no bugs, and they weren't fighting at the moment. When we got my dogs. My first dog was a Christmas present for me and my brother. On Christmas there was an unusually large box that we had to open first. My brother guessed a Nerf minigun and me being young expected Skylanders but a fox red Labrador that I still love now pokes his head out and I think that was my happiest day ever. If you're wondering my second dog is a fat puggle that we called Tilly. She is a pug beagle crossbreed and looks like a potato. Seeing Cap wield F. King Mjolnir. First time I fell in love. Everything just felt right. Wish it would have lasted. Getting my pilot's license. I wanted to be a pilot for as long as I can remember. I remember that as soon as I got the sign off from my examiner I just was filled with joy. Not an explosive jump in the air and shout joy but a peaceful, I did it, satisfaction. 
To this day I am an active pilot but sometimes when I'm doing things other than flying the thought that you're actually a pilot now will cross my mind. It always gives me a warm feeling inside and puts a smile on my face. I'm 25. It's 2 a.m. I'm riding my bicycle down a long gentle hill to my apartment where I live alone. My sweater is flailing in the wind. I'm singing to myself. I have snacks at home and I'm gonna watch The Simpsons. Also I have the next day off. When my dog chose me over my sister as his favorite person. Meeting my wife. First time laying in bed with my firstborn and then again with my second. 